Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use Fusion 360 to create a simple sign. Now, quick disclaimer is that I'm not very well versed with Fusion 360. I do know CAD quite well, but the 3D modeling space isn't my forte quite yet. So anything that I show you in this tutorial, there may be a better way to do it. I just haven't found it yet. This is my method of where I'm currently at with using Fusion 360. So first things first, let's go ahead and boot it up. And we're here at our blank design, and we're gonna be using the solid menu right here at the top. Now there's solid surface mesh, sheet metal, plastic, and utilities. I haven't really messed with many of them other than solid and mesh. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna to stick to the solids. So let's go ahead and create a sketch. I'm gonna be doing it along the X and Y axis down here, what I consider to be the bottom of the drawing and I'm gonna create a two point rectangle. And I want this one to be about 75 millimeters by about 150 millimeters. So we'll draw it out here and it should snap to that point along the grid. I'm also gonna create a second two point rectangle that's about 10 millimeters smaller in both directions. So we'll have a 65 by 140 millimeter re uh, rectangle here. Then I'll go up to the create menu again and choose text. This one I'm gonna do within another 10 millimeter uh, two point rectangle. And we'll click right there. Now we've got our text laid out and I'm gonna change the text to be employees only as I'm tired of customers walking behind the counter just to see what we're doing in the back. Now you can also change the font here. Uh, some fonts work better than others. Some fonts don't work at all. Um, it just depends on what you're after. A thicker font will always look better so by default, something like impact, um, anything that's bold is gonna extrude better on your 3D print. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm using a font called Pointless, which you can find over on defont.com. Um, pretty much any of these stencil style fonts do really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. I'm not gonna hit finish sketch just yet. Instead, I wanna add a little bit of artistic flair to this. It's cool enough that it has you know, squares, but let's make it a little rounded. Up at the top under the modify tab, you'll find fillet. I'm gonna fillet each edge here, and I'm gonna use the default 15 millimeters distance. You can adjust it right here to make the uh, rectangle more or less rounded, but I kinda like that little bit more rounded look. So I'll do 15. Then I can click the next corner, and it will fillet the same distance as the first one. This is great for keeping everything symmetrical. I'm gonna then apply this same 15 millimeter fillet to the outer rectangle here. We'll just click around the edges. And now we've got a beautiful rounded rectangle with kind of a sign in the middle, right? Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. I'll then move the mouse over here. We use the middle click of the mouse wheel to kind of move around. You can also hold shift as well as the middle mouse wheel to move in a three dimensional space, a little bit easier than using the buttons up here at the top. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to select both faces that I've created here, both the flat ones. And I'm gonna extrude these. I'll extrude them downward by about three millimeters. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier to work with. Now, once we click okay, you'll notice that your sketch disappears. That's okay. Just click on the sketches tab at the top and unhide that first sketch. Next, I'm gonna select the text itself and we're gonna extrude that upwards by about five millimeters. I'm gonna then click OK. I'll then click the center rounded rectangle we've created and extrude that one up, but I'm going to extrude it up by three millimeters. Now before you click OK, make sure to check over here off to the side in the extrude menu. By default, it will be set to cut and that will actually cut away some of the, the text that you've put up there. We wanna actually join it as we want it to all be one piece. I'll go ahead and click OK, and now I can hide the sketch that we've made, and we are left with an employees only sign. Just like that. Very simple, the text could actually be slightly shorter, but this will make a layer change or filament change a little bit easier. So let's go ahead from this point and save this design as our employees only sign. Fusion is a little bit limited in the sense that you actually have to save the design before it can be exported as an STL file. I'll then go to export 
and choose STL, mine's set there by default because that's all I really do. You can also use an OBJ file in most slicers, but I find that STLs are just a little bit more friendly. We'll go ahead and export that out. It'll say that it already exists because I made a different one. I'll go ahead and overwrite that. Once that's finished exporting, we'll go ahead and send that right over to our slicing program. All right, so once we've imported our employees only sign over into our slicer, in this instance, I'm using Prusa Slicer, I'm gonna go ahead and hit slice now. Now it says that the object looks like a logo or sign, which is true. So we can apply a color change automatically and see where it puts it. It looks like it's added two color changes actually, which is exactly what I'd like. I want it to change color right here at this first mark, which is where the employees only text begins. And I also want it to color change right here at this mark where it's kind of the raised part. So what I'm thinking is maybe a black background here, then a white middle bit, and then a black text for the employees only. So let's go ahead and export this to our SD card and get it over to the printer.